What is up guys, Dan from Elite 4 Crew here and we are back with our APA Season 3 Week 5 battle against Mikeus and his Boston Beedrills. If you haven't, go and check out Mikeus' channel already. Go and make sure you check it out because he is a fabulous man. We've done a few videos together, um, really good pal of ours and uh, fellow commissioner of the APA, the one of the mans that started it all. So uh, we have a lot to thank him and Panther for. Um, we are here guys, it's been a long time rough start to the season we are 0-4 um, we are 0-4 and we need a win we need a win this this has to be the the match that we kickstart our season and I believe that we can get a win here I think this is the most confident I've been uh, this season I think we have a much better matchup than we've had in recent weeks um, we've never lost against Marcus. However, Marcus is a decent battle I'm just going to shift my webcam up a little bit there we go uh, Marcus is a good battler um until he makes silly mistakes, but I'm, I'm the exact same. Um, Marcus is somebody who uh, is not to be underestimated, for sure. And um, we are going to select our team. You can see our team here on the left. We've got a sort of a, a bulky, speedy Latias um, to help do with Salamence. Um, Flyinium Z, Talonflame. Uh, Specs, Sylveon. Uh, physically defensive, Empoleon to help deal with Cartana and Ments. Um, and then choice, we've got Choice Scarfs. Gengar, uh, to help do with Ment as sort of a contingency pl contingency plan in case Ments gets to plus one, uh, and we also have just a bulky bulky crocodile as well. Uh, Again, sort of that's the that is this is the main one to deal with Alone and Muck, um, who we we're kind of anticipating is going to be a pursuit trapper to deal with Latias and Gengar. Uh, so we do have little uh, little plans in place for that, and uh, the team that I think is going to bring is uh, on the right there, Salamence, the Rotom Wash. The Alone and Muck, the I'm thinking a Silvelli Steel, Silvelli Steel. I'm thinking. However, I'm it could be anything. It really could be. I think Silvelli will come. Uh, Mega Slowbro to come to. It's his best thing to deal with uh, Mega Lopunny. So I strongly expect that to come. Even though we are not bringing Mega Lopunny this week, because uh, he did have a couple of things that just completely wall Mega Lopunny. So he didn't have the best matchup. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with Mega Lopunny so far this season. I won't lie. But um, yeah, hopefully it'll, it'll be able to shine in weeks to come. And uh, the Cartana there, which is another big threat on Marcus' team. So his team, his squad is looking really, really strong. And that's why he's um, been able to pull back a bad start to the season. He's 2-2. Two and two. Uh, So we really have to try and halt him in his tracks here and get a win on the board for ourselves. Because... Um, one and four is a lot better than Norton five. <laughs> One and four is a lot better than Norton five. Uh, so we are just waiting for Marcus uh, to choose his team. I'm waiting for Marcus to choose his team. Um, I don't, I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, we we really, it's, I can't stress enough how important a win here is today. Um, and I'm, we're capable. We're capable. We've not shown. You guys, I've not shown you guys what we are capable of. Um, and that's something I really want to change today. So hopefully we can make some good plays. Um, last week against Jacob, if we saw the battle, um, I think we played well, to be honest. I think we played well. Uh, again, it was just a matchup. I think this whole time we've played well, except maybe week one where I didn't quite... I didn't quite uh, make give the best of account of myself. I didn't quite get the best account of myself. I didn't play as well as I sh should have. Um, and if I played more aggressively, then we could have maybe got a better result out of it. But um, the battle communications ended, guys. So I'm going to see what's happened there, and uh, we'll cut back when uh, when we're sorted. Okay, we are back, guys. We are back. Uh, Mike has had a little issue where one of his mons was uh, genned incorrectly, but we are we are back. We are here. We're ready to go. Um, just going to drop in a quick message. Good luck. Good luck. Um, it's going to be a good game. Games between me and Mike are always nice and close, to be honest. They are. And they're a lot of fun. So, um, we've not battled Mike since, uh, I think, Season 1 of Wi-Fi. Season 1 of Wi-Fi. We've not battled him. So, um, we'll see what, he wants, what he's going to bring in here. Um, no Rotom, which is pretty nice. Rotom was something that's going to be difficult to deal with. Uh, he brings the Alone Nine Tails instead, which is fair enough, because the, the Aurora Veil, which will help him. Um, we have got Spec Sylveon, which does just hit his team. So we are going to lead that. We are going to lead that. If he leads Cartana, which I don't expect, um, then we can deal with that. Uh, aside from that, looks like... Yeah, we've, we've got his team pretty much bang on. I don't know what the Sylveon will be. 
Um, I would say the only reason I think it would be steel is because it's the only thing, uh, aside from Cortana, that resists a, a hyper voice from Sylveon. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, we do have a bit. We do have a game plan. We do have a game plan. Um, and it's just, as I said before, it's really, really important that we win this game. Really, really important to us. Um, we, we're, we're in quite a fortunate position where even though we're in a bad state, I think with a win, I think we can move up to second in our group, in our division, which will put us in playoff places. So we really need a win here. Um, we'll see what he's going to lead. We'll see what he's going to lead. Pokemon Trainer Mitacus. I'm just going to write his team down, even though it's on the layout. We leave the Sylveon. Bogart, which is the Sylvalley. Now, is that Fairy? Is that Sylvalley Fairy? Okay. So, how much does he take from a Hyper Voice? Because I don't think that resists, right? Uh, Hyper Voice would hurt, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go Hyper Voice. We're just going straight in for it. Parting shot. Okay. Okay. So let's see what he wants to go for. Um, it does put us down back. It removes our kind of specs damage. See what he's going to go out to here. Um, Muck and Slowbro. So we might get a good idea of what we're gonna see. We're gonna see something. We're gonna learn some information here, which is critical. I don't know what he wants. Ivan news. So it's the muck. It's the muck, and this is gonna hurt. Okay, just less than half. Just less than half. So at minus one attack um, against a muck, a Lola. I'm gonna. Assume that's assault vest. No, I don't even think it's. I don't think it's assault vest. I think it's just. Call it pursuit trapper, uh, and that's assault vest as well. So that's quite a lot of damage. I can't risk a poison jab. I'm not going to stay in and risk a poison jab. Um. Every every set every set on showdown is an assault vest. Okay, so yeah, so I think he might he might be some sort of, sort of berry, maybe banded. He might be banded. I'm just gonna calc the choice bands because that would be worst case scenario for us. Would be worst case scenario for us. Um, so, I think we can go into Empoleon pretty safely. Mm, we might see a knockoff come in. What about if we go into Rico? Yeah, Rico's a pretty safe one. I'm happy to go into Rico here. Happy to go into Rico. So, he was not expecting that damage. So, he will know that we are specs now. He will know that we're specs. We're getting the Intimidate drop off. And he's going for a poison jab, so that's fine. Should be doing 16 to 19% if he's banded. So, I don't think it's a band either. So, now the question is... I mean, he has Salamence. He has Salamence. So, I might just go for a Dragon Tail. I might just go for a Dragon Tail. Or do I EQ? There's no way he stays in. Absolutely no way. So, I don't think I EQ, because I think... I'm just going to Dragon Tail, because I don't think he stays in. And we can maybe force something out. He withdraws. This is good. So we're going to switch something out here. Goes back into the Norberts, which is his Silver Valley. No, oh no, it's the Salamence. This is a good switch. This is a good hit. We're going to see how much this does to him. We knock. Uh, does about 25. And gets him out. And it brings out his Alola Nine Tails, Which isn't ideal. Um, it will be just a raw avail. Probably, maybe a physically defensive set, possibly. 
Um, we don't want to sit here and take anything that he wants to throw up. However, I do think he'll just throw up an Aurora Veil. So, assuming that... I don't think there's really anything we want to go for against it. We could go for a Fire Fang, but he's at, he's at full. So, I'm just going to switch. I'm just going to switch. Um, maybe we can go into Sylveon. Because Sylveon is bulky. Sylveon is bulky. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. I am happy to do that. We're going to go into Sylveon. We're, we're two good turns here. Or however many turns are in. Aurora Bell. Yeah, that's fine. I, predict, I expected that to get up. Um, but Hyper Voice still does about 50% through the Aurora Bell. Um, depending on what he wants to go into here. Now... He might go into the muck, but I don't. I don't think that would be the case. I don't think that would be the case. I think I'm going to baton pass. I'm going to stay playing aggressive. I'm going to stay playing aggressive. I don't think he stays in. I don't think he stays in. So I'm going to baton pass. See what he wants to go out to. We'll see what he wants to go out to. So all we've seen so far is the Aurora Veil uh, on Nine Tails and the Parting Shot on Sil Valley, and we think it's Sil Valley Fairy. I'm not certain myself. I'm not certain myself. Oh, look at that lovely snow! Look at that lovely snow. Um, I'm pretty sure we're making a good play here. I think I'm pretty sure we're making a good play. He not. Whoa. Whoa, that's not good. <laughs> I mean, I think we can go into Empoleon pretty safely. He's now plus two special attack. Um, a freeze dry would be would be painful. Um, can we go into Talonflame? We live anything he wants to go for, to be fair. And we could just go for a Swords Dance. Um, we outspeed, that's for sure. Is there anything that we need... Talonflame 4. It's particularly the Cortana is the real issue. Um, what about Gengar? Can we go into Gengar? Hijinks. Man, not really. Man, this is tough. I don't know what to go into. No, we can't go into Gengar. I'm going to go out into Talonflame, and I'm I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. If he has Ice Beam, this could be dangerous. He withdraws. He withdraws. That's pretty huge. He goes into Gooby. What's Gooby? The Mega Slowbro. Now, this is pretty nice. We are on the offensive. We are at plus two. Now, a Z. Supersonic Sky Strike. Against Slowbro Mega. Level 50. Wow. How does that not do anything? That's pretty wild. Okay, we've got to switch out. 
We've got to switch out and we go Pingu. Wow, that's crazy. Damn. I didn't realise. I did not realise. See, Mega Revolves. And just go to a scold, which is fine. That's fine. We ooh, we eat that pretty much. And then we get where they get our lefties. We reveal that we're leftovers. We reveal that we are leftovers. Um and at this point I'm pretty happy to just get my rocks up. What's he gonna go for? He might start car minding. Focus blast. Wow. That's damage. That is damage. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Aurora Veil is still up. Aurora Veil is still up. Um, but we can just go into, could we go into Latias? We can do that. This is not good because Pingu is our physical wall. Pingu is our physical wall. And I didn't really think of Focus Blast being an issue. He goes for another Focus Blast. He hits it. Two Focus Blasts in a row. Pretty much unheard of, but okay. Um... And now that Latias is in, I do predict the Alolan Muck to want to come in here. I do predict the Alolan Muck to want to come in here. And I'm just going to double out into Rico. This could be bad. This could be bad. But we will see. He withdraws. The Bogart, which is the Sil Valley. Sil Valley Fairy, I'm assuming. Again. Um, man, I am shaking, man. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. Ah! Uh, crocodile. Rico. Now, nothing we do. Again, whilst, is the Aurora Veil still up? Yeah, still up. He's got one more turn of Aurora Veil. Yeah, it is, it is the Sil Valley Fairy. We do confirm that, which is good. I just saw it on the pop up on the screen there. Um, in which case, I could potentially go out. Hmm. Could potentially go out to Sylveon. Because I think a multi attack from Sil Valley Fairy into Sylveon. Oh, it does a lot, man. It does a lot. This is the issue. It does a lot. Uh, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go out and Sylveon. He probably just parting shots, honestly. Multi attack, yeah. We'll see how much this does to us. So, quite a lot, but his Aurora Veil wears off. Um, and I'm just going to go for a Hyper Voice. Because, again, nothing that he has really wants to take this. Uh, we're not in good. We're not in as healthy a situation I want to be in because I want Sylveon to be healthy. I want Sylveon to be healthy. And I want um, Empoleon to be healthy, and <laughs> neither of them are very healthy at the minute. So it wasn't the best switch. I probably could have gone into Empoleon to be honest, but Empoleon was already low. This is the issue. Empoleon was already low. I really didn't want to be taking that Focus Blast from Mega Slowbro. 
And to be honest, I probably should have gone into Latias before. I probably should have gone into Latias before. He's taking his time. So, he's taking his time. He goes for another multi-attack. Is it going to kill us? Fuck. It does. It does kill us. Um, so, Sylveon goes down here. And this is not good. Um, I mean, we can go into Gengar. We can go into Gengar now. The Aurora Veil is no longer up. Um, a Sludge Wave would kill. But he has so much he can switch into. I'm going to go Gengar. Force this thing out and we're going to double back into Crook. We're going to double back into Crook. Unfortunately, the Sylveon does go down. And that is massively, massively dangerous to us. We're doubling back into Crook. I'm predicting the Alolan Muck. I am predicting the Alolan Muck. We double. Intimidate comes in. And he withdraws. Show me the Alolan Muck. Yep. Lovely. Okay. Okay. Now, the big question is... What do we go for? The big question is, what do we go for? So we don't think he's banded, so... The only thing that would kill him would be an earthquake. The only thing that would kill him would be an earthquake. But there's nothing that he can really do that will hurt us. So... I wouldn't be surprised to see a safe play from him might be the Sil Valley coming back in. Um, in which case, Earthquake is still the best play. I'm worried about Salamence, but I'm going to click Earthquake. He withdraws. Bogarts. That is the Sil Valley. Nice. Okay, so we made the right call there. We made the right call. Um, he does outspeed us, but we're going to see how much an Earthquake does to him here. Well, we get, we get him down pretty low. We do get him down pretty low. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a, 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 part, a parting shot, sorry. A parting shot. But if he goes multi-attack, then it's very dangerous. It's a very dangerous play to be making. I think he's... <sighs> it's a tough one for him. It's a tough one for him. I think I don't think he has any drawbacks into going for a... a um, going for a parting shot. I'm just going to go into Empoleon. It's the safest option. To take this multi-attack. We do need to keep Rico as healthy as possible. Rico does do some damage to him. Rico does do some damage to him. We're going to see what he wants to do. If he does parting shot. Then um, I regret not staying in and going for a dragon dance. Uh, not a dragon dance. A dragon tail. Um, I think he stayed in there. And probably... But does he part in shot? This is the question. Does he part in shot? Defog. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, he could have sacked. He would have sacked his Sil Valley there. But we get a bit of leftover recovery. So, that's quite important for us. That's quite important. Uh, 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 uh. Empoleon. Pingu. So, we can we could just go for a Scold. Try and get a burn off. Um, or we can get the rocks up. He probably just attacks me, to be honest. And I don't want to risk taking any more damage. I'm just going to go for a Scald. Flame Charge. Okay, so I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that. Because Scald will, ta will take him out. So 
So Silver Valley is gone. Napoleon gets the kill. Um, now, interesting to see what he goes into. Will be interesting to see what he goes into. He could go Mega Slowbro. Or he could go Kartana or Immense. Or he may try and get another Aurora Veil up. He may try and get another Aurora Veil up. Um, what would I do in his shoes? I think I'd potentially try and... He goes into Siri, which is the S Kartana. Okay. Okay. Um, I I think I'm just going to roar. I think I'm just going to roar. In case he gets greedy and tries to go for a sword stance. I'm just going to roar. In case he gets greedy... This is all I can do. I just have to. I can't. I can't let him attack me with a with a leaf blade. Oh, I can't, sorry. I can't let him. I can't let him try and set up. Um, if he wants to go for a leaf blade, that's fine. Empoleon goes down, uh, and we can go into something else. But I can't risk. Uh, I can't risk him setting up. A scald would do quite a lot to him, but it would do about 50%. See what he wants to go for. We'll see what he wants to go for. Z move. Okay, so at least he wastes a Z move on us. At least he wastes a Z move on us. Black Hole Eclipse. Predicting the Latias, I think. So that's nice. That's really good. Very nice animation. Oh, see you later, Empoleon. We live! Fuck's sake. Man, we could have got a nice school off. We fucking lived that, man. We tanked that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for a Toxic here. Or do I try and get my rocks up? I think the Toxic on the Slowbro is important. I'm going to go for Toxic. I don't know if we outspeed, to be honest. I haven't looked. I think Mega Slowbro must be very, very slow. So I'm just going to go for Toxic. Um, he might just go for the Knockout here. Yeah. yeah, and we land the Toxic, which is nice. Which is good. He just goes for a Scold. Which is absolutely fine. Um, now... So, of our options, we could go Crocodile and go for a Crunch. However, it doesn't even do that much. It does not even do that much. Um, we could go... Can we go Talonflame without the the Aurora Veil? Brave Bird still doesn't do that much. Um, I think we might have to just go into Gengar. Jinx. And we can Shadow Ball and it might take him out. Um, if he goes into the muck. Shadow Ball doesn't do enough. Um, I am going to go into High Jinx. I'm going to go into hijinks um, now. Do I? It's a very tough one. It is a very tough one. Because if I stay in and Ivan Ooze comes in, then he completely kills again, Gengar. So I can't, we, we can't risk that. We cannot risk that. However... Um, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. 
Can reds do anything to him? No, not really. Talonflame. I don't... Talon, the thing is, Talonflame and Crocodile, I don't want to risk him just going for a Scald. I don't want to risk that. But I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to go into Talonflame here. I honestly see him just going into Ivan. Ivan Ooze. If he doesn't, then fair play. Massive bollocks. Absolutely massive bollocks. Here it draws. Okay, no bollocks. Ivan Ooze. Yeah. Okay, so we could have gone Crocodile. We could have gone Crocodile. But... Um, we can hit our Z-move here, if we want to. And this is a big thing. There's nothing that he can really go for that really hurts me, so... I think I might just go for a Swords Dance. I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. I'm going for it. He withdraws. We get a free Swords Dance. Goes back into the Mega Slowbro. Now, this is going to hurt now. A plus two, the Z move. Woods. Slow bro. Would it kill? Would it kill? Not quite. We are going for it. Super Sonic Sky Strike. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Um, a scald. Might take us out <laughs> if this doesn't kill. I don't think it's going to kill, to be honest. But um, we do just need to start forcing the issue at this point. Oh, so close. Slack off. Slack off. Nice. Real nice play. Very nice play indeed. Um, is he at a point where another Brave Blow would take him out? I don't know. I don't know. I think he just goes... I think he just goes for a Scold. I'm going to go into Latias. I think Latias is a good play. If he wants to go for another Slack Off, that's fine. I want to keep Hat Talon Flame healthy, even if we are at plus two. We did a big chunk to him there. <sighs> I don't know if you can tell, guys. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. It's. We're not, we're not in a good position. We're just not. Um, but we are keeping our main threats healthy. Unfortunately, Sylveon did go down. Sylveon was our probably our biggest threat. Spec Sylveon. But he dealt with it very, very well. Um, we are going into Latias. If he wants to slack off, then I think that's the correct play for him. But he withdraws. And goes into Norberts. Which is the Mega Sal the Salamence. Sorry. Now, this is nice. This is nice. Because he has no fairy now. He has no fairy now. Um, Latias. And an Ice Beam kills. Do we outspeed? We do outspeed. Of course we do. Um, he knows that we're outspeed. I'm happy going for an Ice Beam. Here it draws. If he goes into Ivan Ooze here, Kitsune, which is the... Yeah, okay. I forgot that he still had a fairy type. <laughs> I actually forgot that he still had a fairy type. Um, we go for an Ice Beam. It's not going to do too much. It's going to resist. Wow, that does nothing. That's crazy. That really is crazy. 
We could go for a psychic, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, <laughs> we're not in the best shape. We are not in the best shape. I don't think he had freeze dry. I think he does just have ice beam. Or blizzard. Blizzard. I think I might just try and get... What if he goes for a Moonblast? Which does more, Moonblast or Blizzard? They both do a decent amount, um, but we can just recover off any damage. So I'm just going to go for a Psychic, get some damage off on this thing. Oh, he withdraws. So does he go into the other news? Fuck. <sighs> now he's going to try and pursue. He's going to try and pursue, I believe. That's what he's been trying to do all game. Um, I am just going to go for an Ice Beam and hope that two take him out. I'm going to stay in. I can't not stay in, unfortunately. Can we get a Freeze, maybe? Can we get a Freeze? Brick Break. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, now he could go into... He could just go back into the Ninetales. Which I think he will do. Which I think he will do. In which case, do I go into Gengar? Or does he predict me to switch out and just go for the pursuit anyway? I am i can't risk that. I'm going to go Ice Beam. He would have to withdraw. Damn it! If he goes back into the Nine Tails, which I'm sure, yeah. Oh, I was so close to going into Gengar, man. I was so close into going into Gengar. I'm just going to go for a sidekick again. Because we do outspeed, we can get some damage off on this thing. Um, it doesn't have very good recovery, Ninetales, I don't think. Does it get recover? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just chatting. I'm just chatting. Absolute rubbish. <sighs> He's getting down to half and he gets his veil up. Which is fine. The, the veil is up now. The Aurora veil is up now. Now, I think I'm just going to go for a cover. I'm just going to go for a cover. Just so that we're at full. Um, see what he wants to go for. Just a Moonblast. we see how much it does. So it's just under half. And I'm now going to switch out into... I think I'm going to switch out into Talonflame. So I think he he's seen the recover. He knows we're just we're going to recover. I think he'll go for a nasty plot. I think that's what he's going to do. Um, question is, do we do enough to alone the Ninetales with Talonflame? Even with Veil up, yeah, Flare Blitz kills. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out into... Into Talonflame. Expecting the nasty plot. Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, we are just going to Flare Blitz. Um, what does he have? He could... He, he, nah, he could just go into Slowbro. He could just go into Slowbro. Uh, in which case, a Flare Blitz does nothing. Wow, this thing is bulky. Uh, 
Um, if thing is, if if it does nothing to us, then it does nothing. If it does nothing to him, then it does nothing to us. So there's no reason not to go for it. And it does just it gets another turn of his Aurora Veil moving. Maybe he's deciding what to do here. Maybe he's deciding to just go for the plus two. I hope he does. <laughs> I sincerely hope he does. But the smart play would be to go into Mega Slowbro, I think. Yeah. It's the safe play anyway. It's the safe play. Yeah, he draws. Does go out into the Mega Slowbro. Oh, that's not the Mega Slowbro. That's not the Mega Slowbro. Flare Blitz. We'll see how much it does. Wow. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Wow. I'm at minus one. Salamence. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm not enjoying this. Um, I think he's just gonna dragon dance. I think he's just gonna dragon dance. In which case, oh man, this is risky. If I go for a Brave Bird and it puts him in a distance that we kill with a HP Ice... No, I genuinely think he's down Dragon Dancers here. I'm being ballsy. I don't care. I'm being ballsy. I think he Dragon Dancers. He's got the Aurora Veil up for one more turn. I think he Dragon Dancers. This is risky. Will it pay off? Will it pay off? It does not pay off. It pays off for Mike. It's great. Absolutely great prediction. Well, we live! We just lived. Wow. We just lived. Wow. Oh, I'm just going to Destiny Bond. If he wants to switch out, that's fine. He predicted, probably predicted the Latte. Maybe not, maybe not even Gengar. Wow! How did he live? He lived a crunch from Salamence. That's wild. That's wild. I just heard the beep boop, beep boop, and I'm like, what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> um, we're just going to go for Destiny Bond to see if he wants to kill me to try and get his, his Moxie. But, oh no, he doesn't have Moxie, he's got Intimidate. Hmm. I probably shouldn't have Destiny Bonded then. Oh, yes! Don't Dragon Dance. Don't Dragon Dance. Do not Dragon Dance. Dragon Claw. Fine. Salamence goes down. Gengar kills. Okay. So, the Salamence is gone. Um, which is nice. Uh, who's he got left? The Muck, the Slowbro, the Ninetales, the Cartana. Honestly, Talonflame does well except everyone against Slowbro. Except Slowbro. So I'm going to go Talonflame. He probably goes Slowbro thinking that. But this is, this is turning out to be a very good game, guys. I told you at the start it was going to be a good game. 
It's getting interesting. It's getting interesting. I still don't think we're in a in the driving seat. I think Marcus has this game firmly firmly in his grasp. Um, but whether he thinks that is a different question. He probably thinks the opposite. I don't know. Um, it's been it's been a, it's been a fun game. It's been a fun game. Um, see what he wants to bring out. Gooby. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. Um, I'm not going to risk Talonflame. However, 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 however. <laughs> Maybe I will risk Talonflame. <laughs> I think, I think there's no way in hell he is going for a Scold. No way in hell. Purely because Talonflame... Aurora Veil is no longer up, right? Or is it? Oh, no, it is. He's got two turns of it. Okay, in which case, I cannot risk it. Um, and I do just have to go out into Latias and just recover all these turns up. He's pro he probably slacks off. Uh, the, I, I, I would be slacking off here. I'd be keeping this thing healthy. So otherwise, Talonflame just sweeps his team. Talonflame is my win con at this point. Yeah, he goes for a slack off. Good play. Good play on his part. But we can just recover. We can just recover. Um, what have we seen from Slowbro? We've seen slack off. We've seen Scold. And I think that's all we've seen. Um, so we are just going to recover. And as he goes out into Ivan Ooze, which is fine. So we can just Ice Beam. We can just Ice Beam and take this thing out. The Aurora Veil wears off. Thing is, he might just go into... Alone Nine Tails, predicting it, but I honestly okay with that because we can just psychic again. Yeah, get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing. So down goes Ivan Ooze. Down goes Ivan Ooze. Now who's he going to here? Kitsune, the Nine Tails, which is fine. Which again is absolutely fine. Um, <sighs> I know I'm, 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 by the way, guys, I just want to say, I do, I know that I could have, I could defog away the Aurora Veil, but that's, that's not, um, all that crucial to me right now. That's not all that crucial to me right now. Um, what is crucial is getting damage off on this thing. Because I mean, now we know Latias can stall this thing, and so we do thirty to thirty-six percent now. And with the Aurora Veil, I think we can two-hit KO. We outspeed. I'm going for a Psychic. Aurora Veil. Now what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to defog. I'm going to defog. Or do I just get rid of this thing? What comes out? Kartana, surely. See, right, I'm stuck between, right? If I Psychic and I kill this thing, Kartana comes out and tries to set up on me. Um, what does Kartana want to do with the Aurora Veil up? What can I do to Cortana, rather? Not all that much. Where And a Night Slash would take me out, I'm sure. Uh, wouldn't quite. 
Um, I'm just gonna defog. I'm gonna defog. I'm just gonna stall this thing. That is fine by me. Man, that Gengar play was huge. That Destiny Bond on the on the Salamence. Whew. <laughs> that was that was pretty huge right now. Because it does mean that the Slowbro is toxic poisoned. You know, we can stall it out of Latias. We are still in a decent position. There's 15 minutes of this game left, guys. You do not want to go anywhere. You do not want to go anywhere. I apologize in advance because this is going to be a really long video. This is going to be like over an hour. It's going to be like over an hour. Um, but fuck me, it's going to go down to the wire. It's going to go down to the wire. He withdraws. That's perfect. Siri is the Cartana. Now, without the Aurora Bell. Without the Aurora Veil, what can we do here? We do outspeed. And we kill with two Ice Beams. That was the perfect play. That was the perfect play. I'm just going to go Ice Beam. He thought that, that was his chance to win it. He thought that was his chance to win it. To get Cortana in, set up and sweep. But we stop that now. We've stopped that now, because we can two-hit KO with, my, with Ice Beam. We can two-hit KO him with Ice Beam. And he'll know that. That's what he'll be calking right now. That's what he'll be calking right now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see him go out into Slowbro, perhaps. Which is fine. I do want to see whether he just decides fuck it or what. Going out in Slowbro would be the smart play, but again, we can stall it out because he's toxic. He withdraws. Goes out into the Mega Slowbro, I'm guessing. Yes. Which, again, is absolutely fine. We Ice Beam doesn't do anything to us. Uh, to him, sorry. Doesn't do anything to him. Oh, man. Oh, I almost tried to, <laughs> I tried to make uh, Mega Slowbro level 252. Um, I'm just going to go for a sidekick, honestly. He can go for an Ice Beam if he has it. But we can just still, we can recover it off. It's fine. It's honestly fine. We're just going to try and keep this thing low. Doesn't do a lot at all. Spadef drop. That is wonderful. Psy shock. How much is that going to do? Not a lot at all. Not a lot at all. We get a bit of lefty's recovery. This is nice. This is nice. The toxic damage is racking up. I'm going for another sidekick. Pray for another Spadef drop. Get some down. He's going to slack off. Um, try, and, try and keep this thing as healthy as he can. Um, I'm just wary of the match time. I am very wary of the match time. Because I don't want to lose to um, the timer going out, unfortunately. That's, that's not what I want to happen. And I'm sure he doesn't. He doesn't want that to happen at all either. We've had we've had this conversation many a time. Um, he wouldn't try and start time to steal me, but um, we're in a, honestly a solid position. I can just keep going for psychics because his toxic damage just keeps jotting up. He goes for another slack off. There's only so. I wouldn't be surprised to see him switch out now. But honestly, I think I think we're in a good position now. I think we are, for the first time in this match, we're back in the driver's seat. We are back in the driver's seat. 
I'm going for a sidekick. Man, if we were calm mind, Lati. If we were calm mind, Lati. One day, guys. One day we'll get we'll get a calm mind sweep with Lati. Even though we should have done week two. Even though we should have done week two. Um, but I'm feeling much more confident now about our position. Feeling much more confident. Honestly, but there's not much he can do. He can't stay in, really. He can't switch, because Alola Ninetales dies. Cortana gets two hit KO'd, and he can't really stay in. He withdraws. He can't really stay in yet. Uh, into the Alola Ninetales. Uh, and this, goes, this is going to die to the Psychic now. This is going to die to the Psychic. Latias gets the second kill of the game. Good girl, Red. Good girl, Red. Um, and he probably just goes out into Slowbro again, to be honest, just to reset that Toxic Timer. timer. Uh, no, he, goes, he does go out into the Kartana. He does go out into the Kartana. Um, which does interest me. I think maybe he's just kind of accepted that... Maybe he's accepted, the, accepted his fate. Um... We'll see. Because he has used the Z move. He has used the Z move. Um, so there's no, there's not going to be any surprises there. And I'm certain. I'm certain that there's nothing he can do to us. A Night Slash is the best move he has. Um, a level 100 it takes me out. But a level 50 it does 70 max. It does 70 max. Um, so we do 2 hit KO. He's... He, he can't be scarfed. There's no way he can outspeed us. Um, except for a misgen. If there's a misgen. <laughs> uh, but no, I got the best, I had the best Jenner in the game. When I had Kurt, Kurt on my team. Um, sorting this for me. Um, big, big shout out to all my Jenners, guys. Big shout out to the Jenners in the APA. Um, Kurt and Kyle have so fucking sorted me out teams more times than I can count. Um, and and I'm, I'm bigging you up, guys. Just, just, no misgen, please. Um... Ice Beam. Yeah, so he doesn't outspeed. Night Slash. We do two hit KO. And barring a crit. We're good. Oh, it was a crit! Man, that would have sucked. That would have sucked. Fucking crit, man. There's no way he lives now. There's no way he lives now, surely. I cannot choke this. I cannot choke this. Ice Beam. Come on, Cartana goes down. Yes, Cartana goes down. Latias gets third kill of the game. Oh my god, thank god. Oof. Thank God. And the, the slow bro doesn't outspeed us. We can just recover up. Um, just to preserve that differential. Just to preserve that differential. Slow bro comes out now. Man. Fuck me. What a game. Absolutely what a game. That was... That was back and forth, man. We made some bold plays. We made some bold plays. Honestly, we made some bold plays. And they, honestly, they, they all paid off. I mean, Gengar, the Gengar switched with the Borsius one on the switching on the Salamence. And he made a great prediction, with, um, either predicting that or the Latias to come in. Um, and somehow we lived. Honestly, no idea how we lived. That's just ridiculous that we lived. Um, Destiny Bond. Fuck me, man. We've... We've done we've done some bits today. We have done some bits today, and we have fully deserved this win, fully deserved. And I'm so happy, so happy that it's been done with no hacks, as, as far as I can think of. There's been no crits or anything. Um, absolutely insane. Uh, really, really happy with how we've played this game. Um, I am just going to recover again. Um, I do. I'm not risking anything. <laughs> I'm not risking anything. If he wants to go for a slack off, that's fine. I don't care. Um, the Toxic's just going to get him eventually. Um, and Latias 
Oh, I don't know if Latias is going to get this kill. I want Latias to get this kill. Um, but it might be the Toxic that does it. The hail stopped, which is nice. We can get some HP back. Um, I'm really sorry that this has been such a long game, guys. I really am. I'm really, really sorry. Um, I think the Toxic's going to take him out. Which would mean a kill for Empoleon, who did get that crucial Toxic, which was so important. I'm so glad I did that instead of the Stealth Rocks, because otherwise, this would be a different game. This would be a completely different game. Um, it looks like the Toxic's going to take it out. And it does. Empoleon gets that kill. And that is the game, guys. Fuck. Um, massive win. Absolutely massive win there. This is the kickstart of our season. Big announcement right now. We have made two trades ready for next week. We have dropped Talonflame, who did put in so much pressure today. And for your last game, Talonflame, incredible. Couldn't have asked for more. Could not have asked for more. Um... We are dropping Talonflame and we are picking up Braviary. Um, oh no, so we're dropping Talonflame and picking up Volcarona. We're picking up Volcarona from T2. So Volcarona is our new Z captain. Um, and we are dropping um, Staraptor, who last week put in a lot of work as well. Um, and we're dropping Staraptor to pick up Braviary. So Braviary, I've used before, absolutely amazing mons. Similar to Staraptor, doesn't quite hit as hard, but um, it did allow us to switch the points up and be able to pick up Volcarona, which I felt our team was really lacking, just a proper setup sweeper to be able to punish teams that aren't prepared for it. Um, and that's, I think, how I play best. It's, it's what, I think it's why I haven't been winning this season. I haven't been playing that way. Um, but today we proved that we can do it. We can get those wins um, without having to set up or things like that. Um, so I'm really, really happy with the way we played. And thank you so much for sticking around for this whole video. Um, it's mad uh, really long i'm really really sorry that it's taken so long um but that's unfortunately just how battles go sometimes especially with Marcus. um as we know as we all know and love um but make sure you go over to Marcus' channel now the link is in the description below check out his side of this battle i'm gonna be shooting over there right now to chat to him um to get his thoughts and opinions on that because wow what a battle uh thank you so much for watching guys i've been elite for dan peace